Right, guys, welcome back to Danny's Point. Today is all about commuting by skates. Um, it's a guide to commuting by skates in built up into city areas. It's not a guide to commuting by skates in rural farmlands or somewhere where there's no tarmac. It's about commuting in cities. I'm going to look at some of the positives and why we do it, where we do it, how we do it, and I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips um, as well. Some of my favourite tips of getting around the city. But first of all, it's early, I need coffee, let's get some coffee. So today it's all about commuting by skates. Why do we commute by skates? Normally for a reason, a purpose, going to work, something to do. Today we've got to post a posted letter. And so that is our reason for commuting today. Thank you very much. In English, we forgot. It's better than my Spanish. <laughs> so first up, like I said, we're going to go and deliver this letter to Carreros, the postal service. And so, uh, let's go. Right, so let's run through my three favourite reasons why I think you guys should commute and use skates to commute. The first one are the health benefits. Obviously skating keeps you really, really healthy, so by the time you reach your destination you'll probably be a little bit more healthy, maybe lost a little bit of weight, and hopefully feel a little bit better about yourself, because obviously an active brain is a healthy brain. Cool, moving on to the next reason, time. The one thing we all hate is losing out on time. Things like traffic, trains being delayed or not coming at all. This will not happen with your inline skates. You are the conductor. It is up to you to put your skates on and to get yourself there in the right time. One of the third reasons is bikes and cars sadly can be stolen. Your inline skates generally stay in your house with you so there's less of a chance of them going missing or being stolen. They don't get flat tires, the engines don't break down and so they're much, much more reliable than cars, trains or motorbikes and even push bikes for that matter. The last reason for me, which is more of a tip, is the thought process. Always plan your commuting journeys. The more you plan it, the easier it will become. So for instance, if you know the route really, really well, you can concentrate more on the skating rather than actually knowing where you're going, which will probably make it a little bit more fun. So the more planning you can do is the easier it will make it. So such things like the weather, the terrain, what skates to use, these all come into play when you're planning your commuting journey. So do bear that in mind. The more planning you do, the easier your journey will be. A few things before I go today guys. First thing, always know your skill level. I don't want you guys to push yourself to try tricks or to try manoeuvres that you've never done before. We want you to make it from point A to point B. We want you to reach your destination at the end of the day. So stay within your comfort zone. Secondly, remember, always wear all of your safety gear. I know I'm not wearing too much of mine at the moment, but I have been skating for 21 years. But when commuting or skating anywhere for that matter, always wear all of your safety protection, all of your safety gear. And the last thing for me, one of the more vital points about commuting on inline skates is cars, buses, they all have engines. My skates do not have an engine. They are zero emissions, therefore more eco-friendly to the environment. And in a world that's so conscious about that, well, you can't go wrong. Guys, thanks for watching this episode. I'm about to get the metro back home. Only joking, it's about commuting, so I'm gonna skate home. Guys, take care, see you next time, peace.